Good morning, my name is Damien Egan from Ocean Protect. Um, welcome to the Frederick Watcher Reserve here in Keysborough, Melbourne. So the Frederick Watcher Reserve around me is approximately 13 hectares of open parklands and space. It's located just north of the Parkmore Shopping Centre here in Keysborough, which is in South East Melbourne. The reserve itself is managed by the Greater Dandenong City Council and as part of their master plan for their parks and reserves in their locality, um, what we're here for today is the upgrade works to the wetlands as part of the reserve. The re reserve itself, the upgrade works are part of a plan to improve and maximise the potential of the reserve and the space. Um, the reserve and the space support a lot of uh, community facilities, sporting facilities, recreational, a lot of festivals and events that are here. So the guys here with Jane and uh, Sybil at the moment just reshaping the wetlands basically to, to provide a better habitat for flora and fauna. Um, uh, we're going to be doing some landscaping to improve the amenity of the facility. Um, one of the, the, the aims of the upgrade works is to improve the stormwater quality that's entering the reserve and to achieve that aim, uh, today we're going to be installing a Ocean Save gross pollution trap. What is an Ocean Save gross pollution trap? I'm glad you asked. Let's go and have a look. Okay, what is an Ocean Save? An Ocean Save is a gross pollution trap. It's a hydrodynamic separator that two, uses two main mechanisms uh, to, to treat pollutants. One is a, a swirl concentration effect and the other is a continuous deflection separation process to basically screen, separate and trap pollutants uh, from the stormwater flow. So what we're going to be doing, what it does is it removes litter, gross pollutants, sediment, it removes any particles um, uh, up to five millimetres and it retains and holds any neutrally buoyant material as well. It removes suspended solids um, and any free floating oils and greases. Um, the design of the Ocean Save is, is quite unique. Um, as we can um, see at the inlet end, inlet side of the unit, we have 180 degrees in which we can incorporate uh, one or more inlets coming in at a wide variety of angles. Uh, the stormwater comes in at the inlet and then with a driving head, it gets forced down into this vortex mechanism, which will throw the stormwater into a vortex swirling concentration. And from here, um, we have this uh, unique aspect of the design, which is the screen itself. So during a storm event, any stormwater that's entering the device um, by, by the build of this inlet structure is forced into a vortex pattern. That vortex pattern with the driving head behind it thrusts the water down into the screening area. And that high velocity across the face of the screen does two things. It creates a very high velocity tangential to the face of the screen compared to a normal velocity through the screen. And that has the effect of keeping the screen clear. One of the biggest issues with traditional screens is that they quickly become clogged with floatables and litter and the force of the incoming water holds that litter against the screen. It thus reduces the hydraulic capacity of the unit. Um, buoyant materials are retained within the screening area and anything that's non-floatable will sink down into the sump where it can be cleaned like any other gross pollution trap. 